Okay, so there is one unique feature in a Nano Banana Pro model. So basically, this model is able to call Google search to get the most relevant or real-time information. And that means the content that will be generated using this model is going to be more accurate than the previous model. Now, to be honest, initially I thought that this is a similar feature to another product, another AI model called Reef AI. So this is one AI tool that I have covered on my channel a few months ago and basically this model is apparently able to perform search on the internet like it is able to see the object and then it can create another version or you know create the same object again but with a different twist size or color or anything based on your prompting so here for example i'm asking the, the ai tool to generate a picture of iphone 17 pro max and this is the result and by the way the purple iphone 17 pro max doesn't exist it's not something that exists in real life and also this very version of iPhone actually has different pattern on the back and that's why it cannot just create a picture of iPhone 15 or iPhone 14 which looks very similar by the way so it has to know exactly what the actual product look like and that is not something that is available on its training data and therefore it needs to perform a research before creating a picture and overall i think that's really amazing so that's at least how i would imagine the uh, google search capability on nano banana pro but i was wrong because it wasn't like that it is not able to generate an accurate picture or an accurate product like this example i'm asking the model to create a picture of google pixel 10 even though it looks kind of similar, I can tell it is not the same product. Like the flashlight position is different and also the speakers are not the same as in the real product and therefore this is not an actual Google Pixel 10. However, it is still able to perform search on the internet. So I have another example here. I'm and I'm, I'm asking Gemini Nano Banana Pro to create a screenshot of an AI browser called Comet. So this is not a real screenshot of course this is just what not banana pro imagining uh, for what the browser look like but even though it is not accurate it has some elements that uh, do exist in the actual browser and by the way this is what the actual browser look like so it's uh the ui is very different but if you look closely at some buttons or features they are basically uh based on real items or real features that do exist in the actual product like the browser can summarize pages it can create or it can receive voice input or voice mode it can also add some widgets alongside with other things that you can do with the browser so again even though the visual is not the same but some elements especially text or some information do actually based on reality so that's actually still an amazing feature that we have in nano banana pro so in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually utilize that google search capability in this model so let's open gemini.google.com and for this example i'm going to ask the model to create something based on information that only exists right now or at least after the model has been released and for that i guess i'm gonna be using mr beast channel as an example so i think he just released a video maybe about 12 hours ago uh well it's actually 15 hours ago so so that's still very very new now I'm going to tell Gemini to create a picture about, sorry, create an infographic about the latest video from the channel. And this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Please generate an infographic summarizing the latest YouTube video of Mr. Beast. And make sure to perform search before creating a picture. Okay, let me just double check the transcription. Okay, so essentially you want to tell the model to perform search or research before creating the picture so it can get the best or the most relevant information. Now click tools, enable create images and enable the thinking mode. So it is very important because AI will think through before doing any action and it will guarantee that it will actually perform the Google search. Now, after that, just send a message and wait for the model to create a picture. Now, one thing here that you need to know when using the 
Google search capability in Gemini Nano Banana Pro is it is going to be a bit slower because after all, it is not just creating a picture which is already very slow to begin with, but it will also perform a search on the internet. It will, you know, gather the data and then create a summary and then we'll put the text or the information into the picture. So just be patient a bit more. Uh, maybe it will take about uh, 30 seconds or perhaps one minute to generate the picture. Okay, so there you go. We got uh, this picture. Now, okay, it is not the same. It is actually not the latest video. I can see it is not the latest video. The last video was talking about AI and stuff. It was actually the second latest video, which is close, but I actually have tested this before. And yeah, I have done the same testing. And yeah, it was uh, AI versus human or robot versus human. It is actually real. It is based on the actual content that was uh, created, that was released pretty much yesterday from the channel. So yeah, it is probably not very consistent, but I think you see the point. It is able to perform search before creating the picture. It can see some pages. It will read information and therefore the content is going to be hopefully more accurate than the previous model. So yeah, that's essentially how you can force the Gemini Nano Banana Pro to perform search before creating a picture. And by the way, if you love using AI Studio, the features also exist in that platform. Just navigate to astudio.google.com. And after that, you can uh, start chatting with a model. You can select Nano Banana Pro and you can enable something called grounding with Google search. Just enable it and that will ensure the model to actually perform search on Google before creating your picture. So yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, everything you need to know about the grounding with Google search feature on Gemini Nano Banana Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.